you love it? Yeah, I do. That's so cool. Mm. Yeah. Love this. But what the issue is going on is there's all color through here. That's from doing box during lockdown. And there's a haircut that happened here because your boyfriend did a great job during the lockdown. I don't want to criticize it. And you made a video about that too, didn't you? No, you, I know I watched it. No, you watched the video of yeah. the boyfriend's cutting hair yeah. and you're like, do you want to give me a haircut? Yeah. And that's what happened. The boyfriend yeah. cut the hair. And so here's where we're at. So yeah. today we're going to be doing a haircut. Cool. You're going to run away? Yeah, I think I'm going to run away. Okay, here's our second goodbye with you. Yeah, thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah, you're welcome. I really love no, it. No, it was so much yeah. fun. Thank so you, thank you so me. much for being model with us. And um, yeah, next time in Brittany. I'm yeah, gonna be like, exactly. Next time in Brittany. Yeah. I'm waiting for you. And I'm going to be coming to Brittany. You know that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I will be. Well, yeah. You have a room at my house. Thanks. Merci beaucoup. And voilà. Yeah. <laughs> Bon voyage. Merci. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah, and you to enjoy yeah. and keep uh, doing you some work. Thank oh, you so thank much. You so much. That was yeah. so good. Cool. Thank you. Have See fun. Ciao. Bye. She's adorable. She's so sweet. Yeah. I love a French accent. So nice. Yeah, me too. I'm so jealous. Yeah. Do you want a French accent? Oh yeah, absolutely. Cool. I wish it wasn't just my last name that was French. I'm just my name's French. <laughs> <laughs> Let's set ourselves up for your haircut, now, you shall we? No, I'm a Nova Scotian. Oh, oh wow. Like that's trashy, cool. trashy, Celtic no, descendant, no, cool. Trailer Park boys. <laughs> you know. I would love to go to Nova Scotia. Oh, it's the best place in the world. Yeah. But Tro between Toronto and Nova Scotia, like, like Toronto and then Nova mm. Scotia, then New Zealand. It's a long way. Then apart. back there and then back yeah. here again. Oh, no, when did fine. you move here? Uh, this time around, 10 years ago, but I was here before that. Oh, okay. So, you, yeah. 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 And you've always been hairdressing? Um, since I was. Well, my grandmother's salon, so I was exposed to it young. I started cutting hair at 15. But when mm. I was 18, I went to become a mechanical engineer. And then I did do that. When I was 24, I fell back on doing hair again, but I did continue with the engineering. I did my last engineering contract when I was 36. I was done. Yeah. And then from 36, I just focused on hair since then. Wow. And I'm 50 now. Wow, that's so, so, that's so cool. So more of my adult life, I've done hair over engineering, but there yeah. was a time where I've done more engineering than doing hair. Yeah. So, but at this point, I just, when I was 36, the realization that if I keep doing this career, I'll end up dying of a heart attack in my 50s. Now I'm 50 uh, and yeah. I'm not going to have a heart attack. <laughs> so, anyhow, I made my life choices. Mm. And I got to move to this little island called New Zealand. Yeah. Now, I was a mechanical engineer. I would never get a job in New Zealand as a mechanical engineer because they don't make anything. No, we don't. We don't. No. We don't. I worked in heavy manufacturing. They don't make anything. Therefore, the only reason why I got to go to New Zealand was because I abandoned my mechanical engineering mm -hmm. career to become fall back on my family trade. Here yeah. I am cutting your hair today. How, why did you choose New Zealand? Just... Oh, because in Halifax, I gave a girl from Wellington a haircut and she loved her haircut so much and then a couple days went by and then she's like, do you want to go for a bottle of uh, wine with me at the uh, local, mm -hmm. uh, have a drink? Mm -hmm. Wait for the drink and then you know, one drink meets another and next thing you know I'm in Wellington, cutting your hair. Oh, gosh. And if never give that girl a haircut, I wouldn't be here right now. Isn't that That's amazing? So oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Life is like it. Serendipity. Come on, let's wash your hair. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to bring my beer with me. It's slightly greasy, so it probably doesn't do that much. Jump on here. Jim, well, you does a lot of hair. A lot. There's <laughs> more than you think there would be. Yeah. Oh, he got heaps of hair. Yeah. Yeah. Come on over. So we were washing hair over there, and um, yeah, we talked about the different haircuts. So, like I said, we're, we're going to be doing a haircut. We're not going to say what it is. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk you through every snip. And here's the other one here. It hits brakes. Yeah. You see the point where it hits brakes? Mm hmm When you hack a sun, you want to be able to pull your fingers through it. Oh, they sound free. Liberated. Yeah, and I think it's that earlier, free bird haircut. Mm. I'm going to free you. You're going to be a free bird after this.
How's your nerves? Slightly nervous. Very Slightly nervous. Or very nervous? Very well, nervous. this is the point because we're exploring this on the channel, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. If you're freaking, if you're freaking the, like really freaking out, yeah. say so. I'm, I'm quite scared. <laughs> quite scared. Yes. But I know it's going to be good. Cool. Because this is retro haircuts and we're exploring haircuts from the past. Yeah. And, um... It's important to... Yeah. The audience yeah. watching. It's yeah. Like they're sitting there with you. Yeah. And, um... I think there's this, like, huge expectation of women to have, like, long hair all the time. Yeah. And I think yeah. that... I get that in the comments yeah. too. It's like, yeah. oh, that haircut should have been left much longer. I'm yeah. like, well, no, we're I, yeah. I, we're cutting hair. We're not um, growing hair on the channel. We're cutting hair on the channel. Mm. I don't know why there is this huge issue. Yeah, but what happens is you over you overcome. Like you're 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 like petrified. Like yeah, the, absolutely. The best I'm, example. I'm scared of what people will think the most. Well, that's true as well. But the best example is like you're afraid of heights. Mm. But then I say, let's jump out of an airplane mm. so you can overcome your fear of heights. Yeah. It's the same kind of fear as cutting your hair. Mm. And then once you've done it, like you jump on a plane, you land, you're like, oh my god, what was I worried about? Same yeah. with cutting hair. Like yeah. right now, you're like standing at the plane, looking down the ground, like, what the hell am I doing? Mm -hmm. The fear is equivalent. Mm -hmm. But once you, the process once begins, and then from there on, the process mm -hmm. begins, and then that's where we end up. Yeah. So, when here's what we're going to do right now. You let me know when you're ready to step out the door of the airplane. I'm ready now. Cool. And it's coming off. There you go. First step. You just stepped out the door. And it begins from here. Oh, I don't know what my boyfriend's going to think. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just send him <laughs> lots of like snapshots. No, what you do is you... Oh, I just don't say anything. <laughs> you send, um, and you put all your hair in an envelope, and you drop it on the front porch <laughs> with a note that says, Send ten thousand dollars or she dies. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, did you get that word? Whoops! Oh, did I just do that? Don't worry, but don't go for it. Fit on the floor now. We don't touch it. We grab another one. That's because your hair's so dry. It was combing through it. Yeah. And it got caught in knots, and that's the reason why it's going to be in on the, end up on the floor. Um, like I said earlier, your hair has been um, colored during, colored by yourself during lockdowns. Oh, it's done. Cut by your boyfriend in lockdowns. Year. Yeah. So, no, that's fine. I bleached. I. You can't even go through that anymore. Like that's just. <sighs> oh my god! 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 Oh my god. Sinking in, eh? Would you like another sip of beer? I'm okay. I think I yeah. need to be sober. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I prefer if you're sober too. Well, we already have you already. You're just right now. You're. Like, oh, this is like is completely intoxicating, just, intoxicating oh, enough. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. my god. Do most people go for like short haircuts? Depends. Some people like, you could shave their head and they wouldn't mm -hmm. even flinch. Yeah. And then some people are like, oh my god, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. But the, even the scenario like here and like, what the hell am I doing? The outcome's going to be fine. Yeah, I can. I, and I'll come up. I come to like follow up appointments just to kind of trim it. Like you well, it's free, you get free haircuts for yeah. a year. I already told you that. Yeah, once you join this club. Yeah. yeah. Just the same thing with Anora, they just yeah. left. Yeah, she, mm -hmm. she did the follow ups and everything. Anora did no ribbon. Like, it's cool that she came in as you were um, coming. Yeah, you know, it's nice. Your like, paths yeah. crossed, so you saw the outcome of her journey as well. This is your summer of 2021 haircut. That's true. And um, you go to the festivals and you're gonna. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I did so this. good. Yeah. I think we're gonna work on the back next. Is that freaking you? Good! I should get rid of that towel in there, it's too much bulk. Mm -hmm. Cause I wanna see where your shoulders actually are. Yeah. So 
So we're gonna lose the towel because okay. we put it there to wash there. Yeah. But um, let's take this off. We don't need that in there. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. You psyched yourself up. I'm gonna use the big ones for this part. <laughs> oh my god. That's terrible. That's a big chop. You ready? Mm, yeah. I really hope it suits me. Oh my god. Wanna hold it? Yeah. Why not? Oh yeah. Oh my god. That's fine. Jesus. I just changed the summer of 2021 with that slip right there. We're going to have a completely different summer this year than the summer you would have before. <laughs> it grows a bit quickly. Oh, no. No, no. It'll be You're fine. fine. You're just a different person. Um, well, not a different person. You're still the same person. Yeah. Just a different chapter in your life. Never mind, like, oh, I never thought I'd do this until I was like 30 at least. I don't know. I just thought I'd. But you're gonna have it long again. Yeah. Yeah. You're just doing your life experiences. Mm -hmm. I miss it already. Do you? No. See that? Like, I'm trying to, yeah. like, do you see what I mean? So I know. There's a reason why you're sitting in the chair and doing this. Because mm -hmm. um, you do realize that. And as we're going to grow it back, as we can grow your hair back long again if you want to. If you love your hair short, you're going to keep it. Yeah. But if you say, like, Matthew, I want to grow my hair back again, we're going to grow it back quality. Yeah. Because it was long, but it wasn't quality. Because you were doing the wrong things with it. Yeah. But if you want long hair again, you're going to grow it back long again, but quality, because I'm going to tell you, don't do that with your hair. If you want it long, you have it all the way down your waist. Just don't do the things you were doing with it. Because mm -hmm. there's a reason why it's so dry. And you can't come through it anymore. Yeah. That's fun. Oh my god. Yeah, it's great. I love it. You love it? <laughs> <laughs> so now all your nerves are like, you went from like, oh my god, I'm doing it to like, oh my god, I'm glad I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm glad it's happening and I'm. Yeah, I know, me too. I know, me too. And I love that we're working through this together. Because it just makes that. I'm scary. Oh, I know. It's like I said, it's like jumping out of a plane when you're freaked out over heights. And then when you hit the ground, you're like, oh my god, I'm so glad I did that. That's exactly how we're approaching this. And we haven't said the haircut we're doing, but it's very similar to the haircut your mother had. Yeah. Yeah. Which is another reason we yeah. do these I think she'll really, she'll really like... Yeah. yeah. I've always said, whatever haircut your mother had, do it. <laughs> Don't mm. tell your mom. And then you zoom your mom. She's like, oh my god, I love it. And people can leave the comments already, like, mm. oh my god, she's getting the, can I speak to the manager haircut? Yeah. <laughs> but you're not, you're not. No, I... Okay. It's cute. It's cute. It's yeah. cute. Yeah. Um, can I speak to the manager? There is no manager. I am the manager. No, there is no manager. <laughs> <laughs> We did have. I feel like I should, sorry. No, there was. A, we don't have receptions now. We've mm -hmm. had a receptionist, but when the COVID yeah. came along, we yeah. stopped it because we wanted less lungs in the workplace, right? Mm -hmm. um, she she was with us for years. She was the best. Yeah. Do we did we chopped off all the hair and permed it really short curly yeah. perm? That's cool. Because she's the manager. Well, we said you're the manager because we said mm -hmm. when someone says, "Can I speak to the manager?" and she pops her head up with that short curly perm, yeah. she goes, "I'm the manager," and we go, "Oh." 
<laughs> they don't even bring up hair. That's the, we used to make that joke all the time. Yeah. But the reason why she permed her hair was because she was living with her grandma and her grandma had perm. She goes, oh my god, I want a, gra- I want a granny perm too! That's so sweet. But she's so cute and young and looks so amazing on her. If you go yeah. on our webpage, Blow Up, mm-hmm. under our price list, go down to perms, that's a picture of the perm we gave her. And oh my god, was that ever the cutest thing? So you imagine when you walked into blow up and she like greeted you like, Aww, like you come take a serving, can I get you a coffee? Yeah. Oh my god, that little perm so thing sweet. was. She's growing it back now because she's engaged. Yeah. But um, oh my god, that was the cutest thing ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. So much fun. Did you want to? Did you want to collect these as I cut them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we should donate it or like, I don't know. You oh. can't donate that because it's color treated. Oh, it has to be completely yeah. virgin hair. Now, as you, if you grow your hair long again, I won't let you do this kind of color. No. Like your hair, what? you grow long. Yeah. It's, under my, it's under my um, mm-hmm. supervision. I don't know what color, I think red would be like a dark kind of beige. Yeah. Be but I can do, you know, what you, what you put in your hair is, uh, that's why, like I said, mm-hmm. there's a point where you just can't go through anymore. I think I've always been, ever, I've, I feel like you always do what your friends do, don't you, with your hair? Well, I did definitely. Like, well, that's because of your personality type. Yeah. You're conformist. Absolutely. Or a, you're a, like I already said, you're an analy- analyzer personality type. Mm-hmm. Like you have to analyze everything before you mm-hmm. make a decision. Mm-hmm. You've already said that. But also there's conformity too. Yeah. There's comfort and conformity. So for some personality types, which is similar to yours, to go against conformity and do something independent like this, that's mm-hmm. partly why it's so scary for you. I think so. Yeah. I think I always want to please people. I think there's definitely yeah. like an element to like. That's all part of it. Able to like, like if I cut all this off, and yeah. what's my boyfriend gonna think? And are my yeah. friends gonna like? No one's gonna. No one really. Nothing bad comes out of a haircut. It's your head processing this scenario. Mm-hmm. But now that this is coming mm-hmm. off, your nerves are like completely going away. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite nice, I think. Well, having it there, or having it gone. Having it gone. Yeah, of course it does. Because we're cleansing. And also, this your university year's done. You just finished yeah. your first year, didn't you? Yeah, well, almost. Well, almost. Sorry. You got one more essay to go. Yeah, I'm done. But what a way to finish your first year of university yeah. to cleanse. But what you're doing, you're also cleansing your study stress. I hope so. <laughs> oh, you are. Because when you're stressed and you're studying and you're pulling and you're hearing doing all that kind of crap, mm. you're cutting off your study stress. Yeah. It's, you know, you're cleansing. And the start of summer. This is your summer 2021 coming up. Oh, I need to have another sip for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually at this point, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you already, and it's not even done yet. Oh, I'm so scary. Mm. It will like blend into like. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine, just fine. And people in the comments are like, you're kind of repeating haircuts, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of am. Mm. Um, I think they're like iconic for a reason. Yeah, they are iconic for a reason. And that's what this channel's about it's retro haircuts and. There's a certain sort of theme with this. Yeah. I really like Lily's. I think hers is really cool. Like, yeah. Really, really cool. We're not matching her, but we're getting yeah. very close. Well, we're matching her length, but we're not going to match what we did with her. By the way, Peyton Game was wondering, Lily, <laughs> these guys went to um, high school together. Mm-hmm. And Lily did the Princess Diana haircut. Um, and I didn't know you were friends with her. You came in and, and then yeah, showed me that video and you went, yeah. I went to school with her. Yeah, I and you're like, I want that too. I well, not you didn't want that yeah. too. You wanted, you know, it was kind of what um, opened you up to that yeah. concept. I just think it's cool when you know someone who's perfect. Yeah. yeah, hers is already growing back, but um, she did it. Cool. And we can look at colors next. Yeah. <laughs> after this haircut, not tonight. After this yeah. haircut, yeah, we can look at colors next. Yeah. Can I send a photo to my boyfriend? Just oh, yeah. <laughs> just. Yeah. Does he know? Um. He knows I'm getting a haircut. I just said. I think that's what I said. I said I have a haircut at four, and that, that was it. <laughs> oh, so. here we are. What time are we now? It doesn't matter. It's not four anymore. No, but we hung out for a while. And, um,. I did it. I did two haircuts before you set them. You hung out and you watched yeah. and you observed for a while and you went. <laughs> okay, let's do this. 
And that's why you're sitting here. And also, you came through the door today, and I come in like, Hello, how are you? And you're like, I'm here for the haircut model. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, like, cool, grab a seat. We'll be with you eventually. And here we are. Now we're with you. This is what happened. So you came, you know, this, this is half you and half me. Because you, work, you worked it up to come to the door. Mm. Means you wanted something to happen. I, I think so. And you went through all my pictures. It's true. Before you came here today. You looked at all my pictures in my um, portfolio. Do you think you always wanted to be a hairdresser, or kind of just, just... Oh, I think I got sucked in when I was five years old, hanging around in my grandma's salon, I was like, so cool. what is this world? <laughs> and that was a novice. Never country. left me. No, no, that was, she, she worked, they're Canadians that moved to California. Oh, So okay. she opened up, there it is, right there. Levina's Hair Fashions. Oh, wow. I'm actually looking off the wall, because I've always pointed to it when it comes up, but mm. this is what I'm talking about. Like, when you sit in this chair, there's the poster over there. This is it right here. This is called Lavina's Hair Fashion. It's my grandmother's hair salon that she opened in 1973. And there's the address located at 6945 Topanga Canyon Boulevard, Canuga Park, which is in uh, Los Angeles, California. And it's $1.50 off with this coupon. And that's my Aunt Shirley, that's my cousin Dustin, and that's my cousin Alicia. And that's the marketing they did on their opening. Okay. Now open! Hairstyling fun for all members of the family. Now, I think this was in 73. Mm -hmm. So, the summer I spent out there would have been 76, because I was five. And so she would have been in 73, so three, she would have been in business three years by then. And I walked in there, I was like, what is this world? Yeah. And I never left my hair. Mm -hmm. And I was afraid of getting my hair cut. For some reason, even at an early age, I really hate getting my hair cut. But like when you walk in this world, you're like, yeah. what is this world? Like, you can take control of a haircut? Mm -hmm. Like, I hate having a haircut, but wow, you can take control of a haircut? I need to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it pretty much... Uh, so you got it in the family. No, it is in the family. Mm -hmm. You do like her. Now, she retired when she was 65 and sold the business. Yeah. And went home. And was sitting home for about three days, and then the guy she sold it to, she went, um, Can I work here? Oh <laughs> so after three days of retirement, she took a job oh and did, she couldn't retire. Okay. And so when she was 80, the doctor said, You have to stop cutting hair. Why? Because it was no. physically hard on her. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. she didn't listen to her doctor until she turned 83. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. So that's the story of my grandma. Do you think you'll be doing it for a long time? Oh, I think the yeah. same thing. I'm going to work yeah. till I drop. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to, <laughs> but it's not the cutting of it. It's the social. Yeah. For me, that I drive into it, it's, it's not the cutting and whatever. Whatever the services. Mm. This is so repetitive. I do without thinking, but mm. I talk. So mm. therefore, if I was giving myself a job description, I would call myself a social robot because mm -hmm. I cut hair without even thinking, right? Yeah. But I talk the whole time, so therefore I'm a social robot. Now that would be my job description. So what's your job description? I'm a social. I'm a social robot. Mm -hmm. I can say hairdresser, but no, I'm a social robot. Yeah. And probably the reason why they, the haircut you get right now is very late 70s. Yeah. It comes from that time. Mm -hmm. And I love that the, yeah, no, I know. But I love mm -hmm. that the people, the audience watch is like, oh my God, yeah, no, I, I, I used to have a haircut at that time. And yeah. this is what I had and whatever, and blah, blah, blah. It's so nice that you can kind of recreate that. Yeah, absolutely. Such a one. Absolutely. Yeah. It's fun. It's great. It's so fun. Yeah. It's also so interesting how things come back and like once someone starts something, it's yeah. like can so easily come back into fashion. Yeah. And, yeah. Now yours, I'm not going to connect it right up in there because you're too freaked out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to soften it right up in there. Mm -hmm. So it's just that I'm working, I'm doing different things for different people. So from the front, you're going to love this. So you see the way that fringe is blending over? Yeah. You see there's a little bit of disconnect, but that angle's up. That's your shape. You liking it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and your nerves are... Oh, <sighs> so kind of <laughs> Oh, no, of course, because you've yeah. never seen this on you ever. No. You've never had your hair this short ever. Like, you had a bob, you said, when you were yeah. like... Yeah, I've never really... And then that freaked the hell out of you. And you're like, you'll never do that again. So this is you promising yourself never to do that again, but you're going shorter than what you did. But I guess it's a new kind of... Stuff. It is, I know. But, uh, it's definitely like, yeah. It's definitely and I also said this before too. Like, when, well, how old were you when you got that haircut? 
Um, maybe not even ten, maybe nine. Like, well, you're pretty young then. Yeah. There's a difference between a child getting a haircut yeah. that they don't want yeah. and a woman getting a haircut. Mm -hmm. Like when you're young and your hair's all cut off because your mom's standing over you, yeah. and, that's, and mm -hmm. that's the haircut you're gonna get, yeah, that's gonna mess you up for life. But when you're a woman, and you make a woman's decision, you get a haircut, yeah. you own it as a woman. And then therefore it's a very different thing. But the thing is though, when you become a woman and you're afraid to cut your hair, because you're reverting back to that time when you were nine, mm -hmm. and then you got that haircut, you're like, oh, well, I'll never do that again. Mm -hmm. But you're now an adult and you're like, I, I promise myself I'll never do that again. Mm -hmm. And here we are saying, no, let's do that again, because mm -hmm. it's coming off. But you're not a nine-year-old in the chair anymore, you're an, you're an adult. Yeah having a haircut choosing yourself choosing actually. yourself so this is you taking control of your haircut mm -hmm. which goes back to what I said like when I was young I hated having my haircut but I was like you mean you can take control of the haircut mm -hmm. now you're learning how to take control of your yeah. haircut too this is you taking control of your haircut and cutting it off yeah. wow what a woman decision cool. yeah And every time I cut it, like you see it coming out. Yeah. Is this half short? It will be all oh, Yeah. Short, actually. Yeah. There's the guy right there. So you ready? Yeah. Let's cleanse. And also, like I said, when you comb through, that's yeah. the stuff that you can go through anymore. Watch this. Yeah. Do you see how it doesn't stop yeah, anymore? Free Freebird. This mm -hmm. is called Freebird. Because right now you're free. The stuff that when you pull through, it would yeah. hit the brakes, it would lock, you can get your fingers in. This is the free bird haircut. Same thing. That is resistance. That's got to go. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Little comes. Yeah, anyhow. Yeah. Little right there. So after that step, same thing, yeah. boot ends. No resistance. Free bird. Oh my god, oh my god. Isn't that fun? It's scary. Yeah, I yeah. know. And it's not a bob, I'm not giving you a bob either. Yeah. I'm just doing a lot of texture, I'm angling yeah. things, and there's geometry in there as well. So you're not getting your nine year old bob again. <laughs> you're just cutting all your hair yeah, off. Good. And we're not going super short. Yeah. I really, I love the fringe, I think the fringe is so cool. Oh, fringe is great. It will kind of like go in, like it will start blending. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. This haircut, I don't think I'm going to do a blow dry at all. Pardon? I don't think I'm going to blow dry hair at all. Okay. Because I just want to see how this goes natural. Yeah. Because like I said, this is the free bird. It's the same. <sighs> Not even worth combing it through. Just yeah. cut it. Get rid of it. Yep. And from the roots out. Free bird. <laughs> it is. But also liberating and freeing yeah. and all that stuff at the same time. I hope it suits my face shape. Your face shape is amazing. <laughs> I know this is you analyzing again because I know you're an analyzer. Uh, so this is happening and you're looking in the mirror and I hope it suits my face shape. That's another uh, part of your brain analyzing the scenario. Mm, it's true. It does suit your face shape. But I love how relaxed you are. You're sitting with your legs mm. crossed and everything. It's like, oh, I'm cutting it. You're nervous, but you're sitting with the most relaxed pose yeah, right now. So you are enjoying this. Yeah, I, I do like getting my hair cut. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I have thought about kind of just cutting off all the dead hair, I guess. Like, oh, that's the best part. That's the best part. Oh. So yeah, this is your last chance me. to see the length that's left because yeah. that stuff's about to go. Yeah, it still doesn't have me. Yeah, sure. no. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. And that image of you with the long hair over your shoulders yeah. is now on the floor. Oh. 
Me dobs, me dobs. <laughs> that is so fun. Wow. Wow. That is so fun. Yeah, play with that for a minute. So I'll sip some beer while you play with that. <laughs> We just need this piece to Oh well, yeah, no, you can, you can play, you can, yeah, play, like, play with this for a bit, because this is your confirmation that, oh my god, I think I've done the right thing. <laughs> I like it a lot. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. I can tell. Is my face going to be too perfect? Yes, it is! <laughs> Look how perfect your face is! I don't know about that. Oh no, it is perfect. <laughs> Everyone always criticizing Gravit takes the worst things, but your face is perfect. Everyone leave a comment below. How perfect is her face? <laughs> <laughs> perfect! And this haircut is definitely like late 70s. Yeah, yeah definitely late 70s vibing. And it's not a Princess Diana, it's not a Dorothy Hamill, it's not a this, it's yours! Sure. I'm not finished cutting. This is your haircut. This is a Julia Gulia haircut. It is. Yeah. Nobody can see it. Yeah. By the way, her last name's not Gulia. I'm not going to say her last name on camera, obviously. <laughs> but I said, oh my god, on video, you're going to be Julia Gulia. Which is reference to a film. See if you can spot it. Leave a comment below. Julia Gulia. It never became her name, though, because she never married him. She, I thought she did at the end. No, no, she didn't marry him. They, they, um, did she end up marrying anyone? Or? Oh, no, she married the, the wedding singer. No. Yeah, no, oh, okay. No, that's the whole point. The wedding singer chasing yes. down on the airplane and Billy Idol beat up her fiance. It's very 80s. Cool. No, it's not 80s. It's um, very like 2004 wannabe the 80s. Oh, God. Whatever you're Oh, is that supposed to Yeah, it was a retro. It. it was a retro thing. Like they were like trying to recreate an 80s film. Yeah. In modern, you know, modern times or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So the thing about me, that side's perfect because um, it's called um, ergonomics, right? I'm right handed. You go to this side comfortably. Yeah. This side is a stretch to go through, so this side takes a little bit more to match. It's bad, like, hair, cutting hair is bad ergonomics. We do match it, but cutting hair is actually really bad ergonomics. Especially when you're cutting length off, because um, there's, you know, doing a trim, you just, it's, you already have the guy there anyway. Mm -hmm. When you're cutting hair off, you have to make it all perfect all around with thumb. Um, Sculpt a new shape into it, which is fine. I love it. This is why I love doing hair and haircuts and lessons. Mm -hmm. I think this is the best mistake you've ever made. I think it might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not done yet. We're Sorry. Push that the other styling, we we played around with wedge because This is not a wedge. This is just mm -hmm. a little lot of texture. You push it forward and you snip, and that's a much easier way of doing it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not doing a wedge haircut right now. I'm just doing a lot of layers of texture. I got like how... Perfect! How like... Kind of messy in a good way, like kind yeah. of, kind of. I'm cutting it that way intentionally because yeah. I'm working with your hair tight, yeah. and I want to just do nothing with it when it's like after it's cut. Because if I do nothing with it, it looks amazing. Then you do nothing, it looks amazing. <laughs> so we'll do both. Like we can do a retro style with it as well if you want to um, experience that. What would you, what would you do? Oh, we just do a ridiculous blow dryer. Like yeah, Princess I, Diana blow yeah, yeah, let's do that anyway, yeah, and then we can wash it out and do a natural. But you can see before I even do a blow dry on it, like. If you did nothing yeah. and you just tucked it over your ears, yeah. you already see how it's going to be on you, your day to day. Yeah. Isn't that fun? My god, I look at my mom. <laughs> well, that was what we said. We, we yeah. looked at your mom's haircuts. You could just like tuck it behind my ears. And then I, I said that to you like at the beginning. I said, Whatever haircut your mom had when she was your age, that's what she had to do. And you said, okay. And we 
took all those pictures off the internet of your mom's old hair. Yeah. So if you look like your mom, your mom should be your biggest role model ever. So if you look like your biggest role model ever, mm-hmm. that's She's a good thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. She's what? <laughs> She's definitely my biggest role model. Yeah, there you go. You look like your biggest role model ever now. And she's got a super cool mom. Your mom is um, Zimbabwean, was she? South African. No, she's South African. Dad was Zimbabwean. Your mom is South African. My partner is Zimbabwean. Yeah. And you grew up in Dubai. Yeah. And then you came to New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a cool story that is. So how would you blow dry it? Would you just like kind of... Oh, how would you blow dry it? I wouldn't do anything with it for the <laughs> most part. But when you want to blow dry it, yeah. I wouldn't blow dry it either. But I would put a strainer through it at some yeah. point. Yeah. And just kind of straighten the firm. Just yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't go too far with it. I wouldn't straighten everything. I would just um, straighten sure portions of it. Yeah. yeah. And I would yeah. straighten anything we have. Yeah. But I wouldn't do blow dry at all in it. Yeah. Yeah. But you can still see there's old color in there from your mm-hmm. yeah, freaking long time. So um, now that I've taken control of your hair, if you want to keep doing haircuts and explore with short haircuts, that's great. If you want to grow it back, that's great. But if you decide to grow it back, yeah. I'm going to make sure you don't do the damage you've been doing with mm-hmm. that long hair. I would love for you to have long hair again, yeah. just not the way you did it. Mm-hmm. That was a mistake. Yeah. Your hair is short now. You can have long hair again, but if you grow long, I'm going to keep taking control of your, the condition of your hair from here on because you made mistakes. Make well, you, not that you made, you made lockdown mistakes. You're bored when you walk down and you just crept your hair. <laughs> I don't even think I let my boyfriend finish cutting it. I got too sick of it. And yeah. Said, no. <laughs> but you, you nurse got the best of you. Yeah. Anxiety attack. You're not an anxious person. It's just you, yeah, your hair, I your... This is just something... Well, at least you're aware of it. Yeah. And at least you have this video. Like three or four years from now, you go back and use yeah. this video and you're like... Why was I so anxious? Yeah, oh, it's incredible. Yeah, because I don't think there was any real reason for you to be anxious yeah. about anything. It's not even curly, really. It's quite straight. Like, it's yeah. just kind of wavy, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I still can't believe it. I'm like, it still hasn't hit me, though. No, oh, I know. You're still going through the process mm-hmm. in your head. But, um, yeah, we've been talking a lot for the past two hours. Um, as you sit in the chair and as this process happens, um, yeah, this is what's going on right now. Shake it hard and flick it back. Like that? Uh. Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. We're just getting used to having it short. So, cool. so like pretty. It. Really? Yeah. Oh. Cool. Yeah, there's still more, there's still bulk in there, I'm not finished yeah. yet, but oh. I just want you to um, yeah. have a play with it. Because I said from the beginning we're working on the circuit together. Yeah. And, yeah. I have to take pauses and let you play with it. <laughs> but there's still like bulk and weight in some areas. But it's because you're very tight. Yeah, would you thin it? Like, in, in no. It? Oh. I want bulk and weight in it. Yeah. I just want to sculpt the bulk and weight to uh, like a geometric shape. Mm. Um, some people would say they would go through with the thinning shears and go, yeah. No. We want to promote bulk and weight. Mm-hmm. We want big, heavy hair. We want, to be honest, we want your hair to look like it's a wig. Yeah. And that's bulk and weight. Yeah. Once you start thinning it out, <laughs> no, not with this hair. But you do thin hair with some hair, but not this. Like today, maybe down the road I would. With this, no. I might take the thinning shears and just go through the okay. ends to texturize them, but I wouldn't go in and go with thinning shears with your hair. No, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. No. I like bulk and weight. Because then it looks like it's a really expensive wig. You buy a wig and it's full. Right? Yeah. But then you have real hair and you're like, let's take some weight out of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want your hair to look like a ten thousand dollar wig. <laughs> and then by doing so I'm not mm-hmm. gonna take weight out of it. Do you want me to take weight out of it? Um, I don't think so. I no. think I've always no. just the hair I think hairdressers in the past have always been like, oh, Exactly, they're like, so like, quick to be like, <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, let me just thin this out for you. You wait for them, and they yeah. go. No, I know, I know. You just you just think it's the status quo. Yeah. It's a good it's a good tool to use, but not always. 
with this haircut, I'm giving it no. Mm -hmm. I don't want like to. Like every hairdresser's like kind of yeah. gone, oh, you. I'll take the thinning shears into the yeah. end, but it's not yeah. going to go. And they kind of do. They always do underneath, and they always yeah, do no, like, I know. like so much, and it grows back, and it's all like frizzy. Yeah, no, I know. But also, yeah, it can also create issues as well. Yeah. Then um, a lot of them, I don't know. The, I would say that the thinning shears are very controversial. Mm -hmm. And now I'm doing a fishing expedition. That's what I'm doing, <laughs> doing um, like this. Yeah, would I like use gel on it to kind of like, if I want to style it or um, like hairspray? Uh, yeah, you could do all those things depending on the style you want to do. You could do gel, but it's not short enough for gel. Yeah. Now. Or like, yeah, just like mousse or. You could do mousse and hairspray, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. yes, absolutely. Or you could do nothing. See, this is doing nothing. Yeah. I actually like the nothing on it. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I would just do, do you know what? If you're doing a retro look, that's boost and hairspray, but do you know what I would do if I was you? I would just use oil. Okay. Like this oil right here. Yeah. Even. And the smell of it. I'll grab one that um, is open. I would just use oil in your hair okay. for a modern look. Yeah. Now, if you want a retro look, yeah, we're going to do boost and hairspray. Sure. But smell this. And it's gonna moisture your ends and smooth yeah. your ends and I would just use that. Okay. For a modern look. Yeah. But for retro look, yeah, moist and hairspray. Okay. Gel, if you want shorter gel. Yeah. But this is not done. Uh, no. This is too long for gel. You could do a bit of gel on the ends, but Yeah, I just I just thought and then if I straightened it, would it go like kind of flat? You can, you can, yeah. but that's for you to play around with. Yeah, too. just I'll I don't do hair straighteners on this channel because this is retro haircuts. Yeah. They didn't have hair straighteners in the seventies or eighties, so I don't, I don't touch them <laughs> on this channel. If you want to look at uh, hair straightening videos, you go to yeah. another channel. Yeah. But no, I will off camera advise you on hair straightening, mm -hmm. but not on camera because this yeah. is retro haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't have the tools of the era, we're not going to touch the tools. Sorry. That's the rule of the channel. I love the way it like flicks like that. Me like, too. It looks so cool. And I love the way it's doing it without me styling at all. It's yeah. not even styled at all. I'm on the fence whether or not to style it or not. Oh. I just like this too much. Yeah, it's cool. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hang out for a bit. I'm gonna watch the way your hair falls into shape over time yeah. before I go back. Because I'm a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. But I need to with this scenario is um, head straight down. I need to hang out with you for another little bit and watch how your take, hair takes shape on its own over time and then go back and do another little bit of snipping with it. Mm -hmm. So that's a chance for me to... Like, I, I wouldn't have this opportunity with paying customers, right? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, let's hang out for half an hour and I'll watch your hair and then I'll cut some more. But with you, I can. <laughs> And we'll turn the camera off and we'll hang out. And we'll come back and we'll do some more. But but, big earrings with it would look cool. Oh my god, I got big earrings. So now that you just said that, don't leave the chair. Okay. <laughs> because you just said big earrings. Oh. My choice, or do you want to look through my... My, um, I look, I love earrings. Yeah, I, I, love you. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to choose earrings now. You can well, you can, you can choose. I'm going to be, I don't really know. Oh, oh my God. Choose some notes. Wow, those are cool. They're so good. The blue ones are nice. Meanwhile, when you're looking at those, they're going to freak the shit out of you. No. No. It's part of it. Look over. Oh. Relax, 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 relax. It's part of getting a short haircut. You just never had your hair this short before. No. First time ever with these. But not the last time. <laughs> it does. Look at that. Look at the one you chose. Yeah. The little squares. Look at you transform.
Where's it going to go? And now we need to put your outfit on because you did choose one. Oh my gosh, yes. And then we're going to finish off your haircut after that. Oh, I get to do the bend and snap. Because I dropped oh a couple gosh, of these. The exactly, the I bend and snap. The and I'm going to go put them in the blue juice over what is here. Is that from Legally? Legally Blonde. Yeah. Is it the first one or the second? It's the first. First one. Love so it. the outfit you chose, you put them over the chair. And, um... Oh, I know which one you love the most. I'll bring it over to you. There's the green one. Green one. Yeah. yeah. There's the tennis one. Yeah. And there's the like I'm gonna go to prom solo one. And there's the beautiful summer dress. So yeah, I know you know it goes without saying. It goes without saying. Go change. Now here's the next question. Does the um, tennis player wear roller skates? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I want him to say, I, I don't know if he'll, I think he'll like it. Oh, I, it doesn't matter. You love it. Yeah, exactly. And here's where the perfectionist goes. So we decided we're not going to blow dry your hair. To be honest, this channel seen me see seen me do too many blow dries anyway. This one's going to be... All about the haircut, all about your nerves working through the haircut, <laughs> and all about a finished look that's a do not, you know, like wash and wear, do nothing. God, isn't this perfect? Your hair just does that on its own. But it's also the way it's been cut. Now, as I said, thinning shoes are controversial, but we're not going to thin it out. And we're not going to thin it short. We're just going to go through. Watch this. Just pull it out. Yeah. And you see those very ends there? Very little off that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go through that just to um, soften those ends slightly more. When I did cut it, it went ch -ch 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 -ch, and this just very, very subtle through that area there. Not heavily into it. Just softens that a little bit more. It's not really visible what I'm doing. I, I, I know what's there. I know what's there. And what you really don't want to do with this hair is to section and go in there and start going with the finish of it. Oh, that would, that would just ruin this haircut. You wouldn't want to do that at all. I think we're good now. Like I'm really. Thanks. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a shake with your fingers. And you walk. And there's a little thing you like that. Actually, if it less as well, it looks. Which it is. Well, that's what the whole. Yeah. It's been cut in a way that it becomes an effortless style. But you go home and you experiment with your straightener. I won't do yeah. a straightener on this channel. Like I said, it's not. The hair straightener is not <laughs> retro. I think we're there. And the best part is that. And um, I am going to break a rule. I'm going to use modern oil with it. Show it to you. So I am going to break a big rule in this channel. I'm going to break a big, big rule. I'm going to use Lux oil as a finishing, which is a modern product. But it's not really a styling product, it just replenishes those ends because you're just dry, your hair's dryness from the um, box color you can wear. So I'm doing it more as a treatment kind of thing. How can you tell that um, I dyed it? Is it, is it? Can you see like with the shade difference between? Yeah, I can still see it now because there's the box of dye from there on. Yeah. But that's not, like you can pull through. What's going on is that box dye sat on those ends and really penetrated. This is the virgin hair. 
the stuff that was down there were your senior, senior citizens, right? <laughs> that stuff, it really processed into it. This is fine. Now, you, you gotta consider that. These are your babies, those were your senior citizens. Your senior citizens are now gone. And you're back to your babies again for replenish. So this is like a replenish kind of thing. Now, I did break a rule by using this, but if this was the 80s, I would have used <laughs> K-Pac. K-Pac is a product they used to have back, back then, by Joico. And that was the miracle product. K-Pac today is not what it was back then. We don't have K-Pac today. Oil is a good substitute for what they had back then. So even though I broke a rule, but I can't get K-Pac anyway. But I want your hair to feel like K-Pac. So this is my way of making your hair feel like K-Pac. People can leave a comment. Oh, I remember K-Pac. Well, you still have K-Pac today, but it's not like it used to be. People will swear by that. They're like, K-Pac was a certain way and it's no longer that way. Was well, like KFC. Everyone's like, I swear to God, KFC tastes better in 83 than it does today. Of course it did. Because um, the company is not the same as it was. Lots of things you can't get anymore. Oh, yeah, that's your look. Okay. You're done. Thank you so much. Give it a shake and all that thing and let's do a photograph. Yes. Now here's the next question, and um, what else it down? Come, oh, come over here, here. Come, over. Yes. come over here, stand over here a second. I'll take the camera off a second, because they need to see all the hair on the floor. Now, do you miss it? No. No. There you go. So we made the right decision. Yeah. And here's our other one. Cool. Welcome to Sir Air. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, oh my god, we are so... Like I said, the skydiving an uh, analogy. Like Once it. you're on the ground, you're on the yeah. ground now. Did you make the right choice? Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually really excited. I'm really excited just like wake up tomorrow with it. Yeah. It'd be so cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad we worked through the nerves and we gave you an amazing yeah. look. And this is such an amazing makeover. Thank, thank you. you so much. So much fun. And thank you, YouTubers. Hey, leave comments below. Um, yeah. We're going to just keep recreating it. And I'm so glad we didn't do a blow dry. Yeah, no, I think Yeah, it's this cool. is so much better than the blow dry. Awesome. See you in the next video. <laughs> okay.